Back at you live from Pressman Auto. Okay, so we're gonna do a more in-depth video this time. Again, I will do my best to point out anything I see, but I'm just gonna, well, keep the camera close and feel free to pause it as you go. Maybe a little scratch there. Okay. Fingerprints. A couple bugs. But I'll get this thing washed. Glass is all gonna be good. Hood looks really nice. Tires have plenty of tread. I don't see any curb rash on this wheel. Maybe a little bit right there. Here's your fender. Suspension's all good. All your tie rods, your ball joints, your struts. I mean, that stuff all is part of safety, so that all gets inspected. Here's the underside. It's not rusty or nothing. Hopefully you can see that okay. No leaks. All this stuff is good there. Uh, there's a very small door dang right there. I mean, it's, it's a 2020, right? So, I mean, for four years, that is not bad at all. Interior smells good. Doors looking really good. Oh, yeah. Hey, Tor's still here with us, by the way. Hello. <laughs> okay. Under the seats. Everything is as it should be. Yeah. It's heavy. Got your jack. Your full size spare will be underneath. Okay, let's look under here. Nice shiny drive line. Oh yeah, has the automatic steps that come out. And both those sides work. Maybe a little rock chip right there. And then this does have two keys and the remote start. Now one key you can tell is the new key, one key is the used old one rear parking sensors. It doesn't really look like this thing's ever been used. A little bit of grease in there, so maybe a couple times. A couple scratches right there. Soft open tailgate. Ah, I always forget how to do this part, so. There we go, so then you put that down, and then that comes like that. And you got this little handle that pops out. Put the key in my pocket. Then you just get up here. <laughs> There's the roof. Bed liner, I mean, it's a bed liner. It's got a couple scratches here and there, but not any major dents or nothing. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to do this, because I always forget. So I think. There we go. Oh, I forgot to put this thing down. Oh, well, that's kind of a design flaw. There we go. <laughs> Rear tires again, looking good. A little bit of curb rash on that wheel. Nothing too bad though. Underside looking really good. Rear diff's not leaking. Not seeing any damage anywhere on this side. Whew. The ground is very hot. Okay. Oh, 
little scuff right there. That looks really good. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video because I gotta make a quick call and then we will do the test drive. Oh, actually I just unpaused the video. I forgot to take the video of this side of the interior. It's got the rear camera. Not seeing any stains on the headliner or nothing. Oh yeah, they have these cool little storage pockets in there. Wireless phone charger. Oh, looks like I left the inner tailgate open. I'll make sure to close that when I pull it back. I'm just gonna pull it up to the back door so I can run inside real quick. Let me get the cold seats going. Radio works just fine. Got all the cool different camera views. Okay, let's get out of here. and healthy. I'm gonna pull it over here to the back of our dealership so I could see why my manager was calling me. And I'll be right back and we'll do the test drive. Okay, I am back. So fun little things got Spotify, Amazon Alexa, obviously we got the radio, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, all that fun stuff. Has navigation, Oh, someone removed the SD card. We'll have to get you one of those. So if I remember right, the SD card probably goes in the glove box, but I'll make sure that works for you. No, I think it's this top one. There's a covered spot for the SD card somewhere. Oh, so, the yeah, there's outlets right here. Trailer brake's all built in. It's got the exhaust brake or the Jake brake. Different plug-ins for your charger too. No safe in this one. Oh, SD card. Oh, there's the SD card spot. Yep, so the SD card's missing, so someone must have taken it out for some reason. They're like 16 bucks on Amazon. I have no problem getting you one. Let's go take this thing for a drive. Okay, now when we leave here, not only is there construction, but there is also a big old metal grate right over our entryway. So it's gonna make a loud bang, just a heads up. Well, it has plenty of get up and go, I can tell you that much. Okay, it feels like it's driving straight. I'm gonna hit the brakes hard. Brakes feel good, no vibration on the steering wheel. I'm just gonna get us away from this construction. Okay, this little green car icon is showing that it's detecting the car in front of us. So that's your collision alert, gap adjust as well. So hands out the steering wheel, driving nice and straight. I'm gonna hit the brakes, make sure it's not like, well, vibrating the pedal or the steering wheel. This road is kind of terrible for this. But I'm gonna hit these dips hard up here so we can hear the suspension. I mean, it's a big truck, but it felt good going over the bumps, not doing anything crazy. So steering and suspension feel nice and tight. Ah, pigeons. Okay, I'll turn on the street and I'll give it the beans. Hi-ho, Thunder. Oh, wait. 
but win. So, nice and good shifts right there. Engine sounds really healthy. Now this is 3,500 or 2,500. So it rides surprisingly smooth. And now if I leave the lane, it actually will vibrate it. And it vibrates in the seat to tell you that you're basically drifting away. But you can definitely tell it's a big truck. You feel, not every bump, but you just feel like you're in a big truck. So aside from that, I'll probably pause it here, hop on the freeway, and show you it going quicker. I got to the stoplight while we're here. Figured I might as well show you a couple things. So, heated steering wheel, I'll turn that on. I'm sure it'll get nice and toasty quick. That's your gap adjust where you do your cruise control. Oh, light's green. Cold seats are working nice. I feel it on my bum. <laughs> I'll turn on the heated seats just so that we can be tortured. AC is running nice and cold. Heated steering wheel is already nice and warm. It's like 100 degrees out, so I hope you don't mind I turn this off. Okay, and then the freeway will be up here on the right. Heated seats are pretty good. Yeah, heated seats I'm already going warm. I was like, am I just tripping? But now that you've said that, now the heated seats are definitely working good. So we're gonna turn those off, turn back on the cooled. We got the exhaust brake. You can see it says exhaust brake on there. Oh, that's how you fold the tailgate down. So I'm gonna go ahead and not press that button. Obviously this flip mirror is a camera and also a normal mirror. So you can flip it and have a mirror, or flip it and have a camera. The camera's nice because it's a very wide angle. So as you can see in front of us, we got a bit of traffic up there. So I'll pause it one more time so you don't just watch me sit in traffic and then we'll hop on the freeway and take this puppy up to maybe 120, 150? <laughs> no, I'll stop at 80. Okay, so be there in a sec. All right, I have found the sacred I-80 East. <laughs> All right, well, these guys can go straight, so I'm gonna be careful with them. I'm gonna turn the AC down a little bit so we can hear the truck a little bit more. But AC works very well, by the way. Okay, here we go, punching it. Oh, Jesus, so back to the future slight speed going on. These diesel trucks are actually incredibly fast. Okay, that's about 75. Now the seat is vibrating, telling me that I am swerving, so my bad. Let's see if we can get the blind spot monitor. Yep, blind spot monitor is working. Turn on the blinker, it flashes, so that's good. Okay, now let's see if we can get our updating. Oh, this thing actually, okay, so that was almost 90. <laughs> well, it accelerates nice and smooth. Everything feels good. Let's turn on the cruise control. Yep, it's picking up the left lane. So both sides of the seat do vibrate when you are crossing over a lane without turning on your turn signal. It also does that for parking sensors too. So hands off the steering wheel. I'm pretty dang straight. Especially when you're going 80, if I don't center this thing perfectly, and the road curves. Do it one more time over here. There we go. And we're finally drifting out, okay. So alignment is a friggin' spot on. Especially with these Utah roads with a swerve and curve. Aside from that, I don't know if there's anything else I could show you on here, man. Hey, Tor, you got any inputs from us and anything that you like or notice? I really like the interior trim. Yeah, like, it is that a nice is, interior. It's very nice. Here, show me on the truck a little bit while I drive. Sure. sure. My own road. It's got like this wood trim on the door panels, which is really nice. And it's got like sort of a wood looking metal finish around, oh, yeah, around the 
the center console, which is pretty awesome. It's got wireless charging for your phone, which is pretty awesome as well. More wood trim, you got plenty of storage in the sides here. You got two cup holders on the door. Sunroof. Sunroof. Which, let's make sure it opens. Oh, I just did the back window. So the back window's powered. Oh, the back window's powered. I didn't know that, that's pretty sick. And that's how you open the sunroof. And I hit those brakes super hard getting off the freeway too. No vibration again in the pedal, no pulling or jerking. All the temperatures are good, all pressure's good, uh, coolant temperature's good. You can actually go to the menu and there's a bunch of different things you can do in here. Let's see, back, back, oil life, navigation, different units, display, you can change up your display, speed signs, that's kinda cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, head up display. So you have a heads up display that you can adjust. Oh, I'm gonna guys worry, so I'm gonna move real quick. Oh yeah, I see the heads up display. I had the setting too low. So, heads up display is working. I got speed, I got the lanes, I can see the cruise control. Can you see that on the phone at all? Uh, no. Yeah, it's not very bright either because I need to turn the brightness up. But I promise it's there <laughs> and it's working. Let's see, adjust rotation, no, I don't want to adjust rotation. Stays nice and flat in the corners. I'll have to figure out how to mess with the brightness later. But it is working. It shows me the lanes, it shows me the speed limit, the speed I'm going. So, cool. I think we've covered everything. There really is to cover. That works. <laughs> Porn works. All the lights and stuff, that, that'll work. That's all part of safety. That has, it's a recorded thing that the state has us do. So there's no way to bypass it or else you lose your dealer license. Uh, so yeah, all your safety stuff, that's all good. Brakes, tires, ball joints, tie rods, leaks, headlights. So anything else, you let me know. But hopefully this video has given you a lot better idea as to, well, the quality of car that you're looking at. Talk to you later.